I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to talk about how to treat a minor burn on an infant. I think there are a couple of things to talk about before treatment. Number one, how do you define a minor burn? Well, we talk about burns in terms of degree. First degree, second degree, and third degree. A first degree burn just causes redness of the skin. It does not cause blistering. A blistering burn is a second degree burn and that suggests a deeper injury of the skin that allows skin layers to separate and fluid to form in between them. Now, a third degree burn occurs when the upper layer of skin is actually destroyed. There's no blister because there's nothing left to form the top of a blister. That's a deeper injury, and those almost always require a doctor's attention. So, if your child has a third degree burn, you really want to seek medical attention for that infant. For a second degree burn, you may want to watch it for a while, but once the, uh, once the blister stops, being there, if the blister bursts for some reason, you may want to still see or talk to your doctor about finding an antibiotic or protective ointment such as mupirocin, sylvidine, or bacitracin. A first degree burn can be cared for locally with cool compresses. If your baby is older than two months of age, you can use a little bit of Tylenol. If they're older than six months of age, you can also use ibuprofen. For pain relief, ibuprofen may work a little bit better for burns, at least we suspect it might. Uh, the biggest question I have if somebody comes to me about a burn on an infant is how did that burn happen? Nobody should be holding an infant and smoking a cigarette. It's horrible for their lungs, so I would hope that would never happen. They need to be very cautious about eating or drinking hot fluids uh, or hot foods around an infant. The care of an infant is an incredibly uh, important responsibility and you always want to be careful to think ahead could this harm my infant and if so I want to keep it away if a burn occurs when your infant is in the care of another person you really want to make sure you get a very good history about how that burn occurred because if any sort of neglect was involved you really want to look into that if there was any sort of abuse that's a crime and it needs to be reported so talking about how to treat minor burns in infants I'm Dr. David Hill